In this module, we will discuss about the addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. We will add 0 0.35 and 0 0.42. Let us see this expression in 10 into 10 grid. Mark 0 0.35 in this square by shading 3 tenths and coloring 5 hundredths. Mark 0 0.42 in this square by shading 4 tenths and coloring 2 hundredths. The total number of tenths in the square is 70 and the total number of hundreds in the square is 7. And summing up both 70 and 7, we have 77, which we express in decimals as 0 0.77. Now let us see in place value chart. In this chart, we put 3 at tens place and 5 at hundreds place. And in 0 0.42, we put 4 in tens and 2 at hundreds place. We will start addition from the right as usual. So we will add 5 and 2 first and then 3 and 4. On adding 5 and 2, we have 7 and 3 and 4 2, we have 7. At 1's place, there is no numeral. So it will be considered as 0. And 0 plus 0 is 0. This is how we can add decimal numbers. Now we will go for subtraction. Oh, it is also too easy. Let us take an example. Subtract 1.32 from 2.58. Here too, we will use place value chart. It will help us to understand better. Here we have digits before decimal, so we will put them at 1's place. The digits after decimal will be put under 10's and 100's place. Here too, we will start subtraction from the right as in whole numbers. On subtracting 2 from 8, we have 6 at 100's place. On subtracting 3 from 5, we have 2 at 10's place and at 1's, we have 1. Thus, 2.58 minus 1.32 is equal to 1.26. Subtraction of decimals can be done by subtracting 100's from 100's, 10's from 10's, 1's from 1's, and so on, just as we did in addition. Let us subtract 1.74 from 3.5 also. Start subtracting from the 100 place. Oops, we can't subtract 4 from 0. So, as we do in case of whole numbers, here too, we will borrow from tens and subtract. So here we borrow 1 from 5. Now we have 10. On subtracting 4 from 10, we have 6. There, we are left with 4. Now also, we can't subtract 7 from 4. So again we borrow 1 from 3. Now, we are left with 14 minus 7, which is 7. Now, on subtracting 1 from 2, we have 1. Thus, we have 1.76. Isn't it interesting? 